The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. High-precision weapons of the Russian Aerospace Forces have hit five combat aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force at Mirgorod military airfield in Poltava region. One Su-27 and one Su-24 have been destroyed. The other two Su-27S and one Su-24 suffered critical damage. The enemy's casualties in manpower were up to 30 nationalists. High-precision strike on Dnepr military airfield in Dnepropetrovsk region has destroyed three aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force. High-precision strike of the Russian Aerospace Forces near Novy Buk in Nikolaev region has destroyed command post of the Kahovka grouping of Ukrainian troops. The attacks have resulted in the destruction of up to 64 nationalists and seven units of military equipment. Iskander missile has hit a military train at Chaplino railway station in Dnepropetrovsk region, destroying over 200 Ukrainian servicemen reserve and 10 units of military equipment on their way to Donbass war zone. High precision strikes continue against Ukrainian military industrial complex facilities that repair weapons and military equipment for Ukrainian troops. High-precision weapons of the Russian Aerospace Forces have destroyed the workshops of armored weapons and multiple rocket launchers repair facility in Shepetovka in Khmelnytsky region. In Zaporozhye, the production buildings of a scrap plant, where air defense and counter-battery radar stations are being repaired, have been hit. The production buildings of MiG remote aircraft repair plant, which was used to restore aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force, have been also destroyed. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery strikes continue against military facilities in Ukraine. Seven Ukrainian command posts have been hit near Velika Mikhailovka in Dnepropetrovsk region, Nikolaev city, Artomovsk, Peryezdnoye, Kaleniki, Solidar in Donetsk People's Republic and Poltavka in Zaporozhye region, as well as 149 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration. Four ammunition depots near Gulai Pole in Zaporozhye region, Krasnaya Gura in Donetsk People's Republic, Zmyiv in Kharkov region, Zhovtnevoye in Nikolaev region, and a fuel storage facility for military equipment near Galitsinovo in Nikolaev region have been destroyed. In course of counter-battery warfare, two platoons of Grad multiple launch rocket systems near Artemovskaya and Suhaya Balka, and three platoons of D-30 howitzers at firing positions in Novgorodskoye, Veseloye and Yevgenovka of Donetsk People's Republic have been suppressed. Russian air defense means have shut down five unmanned aerial vehicles near Kamenka in Kharkov region, Urozhainoye, Vasilevka, Zelonigai in Donetsk People's Republic, and Kamish Zara in Zaporozhye region. In addition, 19 shells of HIMARS multiple launch rocket system have been intercepted near Kohovskaya hydroelectric power plant, Kherson and Donetsk cities. In total, 273 Ukrainian airplanes and 148 helicopters, 1,808 unmanned aerial vehicles, 369 anti-aircraft missile systems, 4,384 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 819 multiple launch rocket systems, 3,340 field artillery and motors, as well as 5,048 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. Ukrainian troops continue shelling of the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant and the Nargodar city. During the day, Ukrainian artillery have launched seven large-caliber artillery strikes against nuclear power plant area. The shelling was carried out from Ukrainian troops' firing positions near Nikopol, Marganets, Vyshetarasovka and Chervona Grigorovka, located on the opposite bank of Kahovka reservoir. Russian armed forces artillery return fire has suppressed enemy firepower. 